everybody. Welcome to the Z-Line Kitchen. I'm Chef Mark Esty, and today we're celebrating the holidays. We're gonna do a Christmas meal, happy holiday meal. However you celebrate it, we want you to have it with Z-Line, and I'm gonna be here today to show you something that's a little bit different. But something you might notice is the fact that our elves are working here in the studio. You may hear a couple bangs and a couple gongs and a couple drill bits going off. We're always building here at Z-Line. We're expanding. We're kicking butt in the marketplace right now, and we love to cook for you. And we want to really show you the power of the Z-Line kitchen. So here we are today, working in the background, and let's get started on our meal, okay? So it's gonna be a, a simple meal, but we're gonna take a little different approach. We're gonna make what I would consider to be a holiday dinner, which would be a baked ham, twice baked potatoes, and some collard greens. And we're gonna make that same meal vegan. So we're gonna do a vegan holiday menu, a vegan Christmas menu. However you wanna put it, we're gonna do them side by side. Now, I love cooking for vegans, I really do. I tried raw diet one time, I've tried vegan, I've tried vegetarian. You know, for the most part, I try to eat the Mediterranean diet. But um, here today, I really wanna talk about how you can make your vegan guests not only delicious, tasty food, but how you make them not feel any different than anyone else, okay? We all have an aunt or a friend or a boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever that might eat vegan and you might say, oh my golly, how am I gonna cook for them today? I'm gonna show you, that's what I'm here for, okay? So the biggest thing I'm gonna tell you is we're just not gonna create a whole special meal of steamed rice and steamed vegetables for these people. Vegans have taste buds too. So let's treat them that way and uh, we're gonna get started here. First off, we're gonna do the humble twice baked potato, okay? So for me today, I'm gonna show you our little moves here. I've got three potatoes, I've got them washed, and I have my little knife here. I'm going to, I like to say, take the top off, okay? So I'm just gonna put a little slice. And I'm making a nice oval circle, excuse me, an oval around the potato like this. And I'm just cutting in just a little bit, and this is gonna allow the top of the potato to come off so we can stuff it, okay? So slice around. I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. Okay, boom. I'm gonna take the potato, put them on my baking sheet. Always a little bit of salt and pepper. Again, we don't need to not season vegan food. So right now, vegan and the traditional dinner are going on the exact same time. Let's go into the oven. I'm gonna take out the ones I've already kind of pre-done so I can show you. And here we go. So, we're back. These are our potatoes. And you can see where I made my little score here. I'm able to kind of just flip off the top of the potato. This is where potato skins come from. If you've ever been someplace, you know, we always use these. We make this into a great staff meal in the restaurants. We're using the tops for potato skins. Nothing goes to waste, okay? So for here, I have my potatoes scooped out, all right? My potatoes tops are off. Now I'm gonna scoop. Now here's where we get a little bit different. I am gonna use two separate bowls because I'm gonna make a vegan style and a traditional style. All right, so let's just start off really simply. Take my top of my spoon here. I'm slicing this top off here. I'm getting the potato off the top. Do the same thing over here. We'll make one vegan potato and two traditional potatoes today. Okay, potatoes go over here. Next up, I'm just gonna give us a little, kind of play with this a little bit. Run my knife in using my hand. Okay, potatoes are tender. They cooked in the oven for just about an hour. You'll know when they're done because they, they're soft to the touch. And I scoop it out carefully, okay? Take my time, work it around, scoop of potatoes. I mean, sometimes the simplest things are always the uh, most delicious. And I laugh a lot when I, when we try to make uh, people remember twice baked potatoes. We never really had that. We just had mashed potatoes in my family. It was like a treat. I had an uncle who always made the best twice baked potatoes and he made the best artichokes. So whenever my uncle came, we loved when Uncle Andy came because he always brought the best food. Twice baked potatoes, a little more work, uh, but they're really delicious. I mean, you get, you're, getting the bit, you're, getting the benefits of a, you're getting the benefits of mashed potatoes inside a baked potato. So it kind of transitions over. You get the best of both worlds, okay? And even for vegans. So this is my vegan bowl right here, okay? Scoop it out. You know, once you get this down, 
it goes pretty easy. You know, there's different sized potatoes. I like a nice, this is called an 80 count Idaho, so they're not too big and not too small. So 80 per box, 80 per 30 pound box. You can find a potato that really fits for you. If you're gonna do a lot of different side dishes, maybe do a smaller potato. If you wanna do a large one and cut it in half, that works too. All right, so I have my potatoes here. Okay, these are gonna be ready to go be, be stuffed, but now we need to make my stuffing. So I'm gonna use a fork. I'm just gonna mash down. I'm just gonna mash down the potato I put in there, okay? One. For this side here, I got the twos over here. All right, so really simply, I'm not making mashed potatoes, I'm just kind of beating it up a little bit, okay? I'm always gonna put a little salt, pepper, just to get it going. So let's start off first, and let's just do the traditional one first, okay? So to do that, I'm gonna start off, I like green onions in there. The green onions add flavor, they add texture, and they taste really, really good, especially with sour cream or the creaminess and the cheesiness of both these potatoes. Okay, so a little bit of green onion, boom. Okay, a little bit of green onion for vegan. So one of the things that I'm really gonna talk about today as we go through this is, I don't want the vegans to feel like they're eating different food than the traditional, right? We don't need to like make anyone feel a little bit differently. We don't want anyone to feel bad. We don't want to feel weird because they're eating vegan food. I mean, vegan food is a, a lifestyle or a choice, so maybe you have to do it for a certain kind of special diet. Either way, we want them to enjoy traditional and vegan at the same time. So for my traditional, I'm gonna go some shredded cheese, and then we're gonna hit it with some sour cream, okay? This here, all right? So I'm bring it together. You could add bacon here. You know, you could add sausage. You can add anything you want. I just like the sour cream. We're gonna have ham. I don't think we need, we're having a Christmas ham or a holiday ham. We do not need to add any bacon in here, but you could if you liked it. A little salt, a little pepper, a little taste. Okay. Kind of delicious. Let's go back over here. Really simple. Now we're gonna stuff the potato. Henceforth, twice, uh, twice baked potatoes, a stuffed potato. I'm gonna put all the stuffing back inside. So I like to make it nice and big, all right? Get a nice top on there like this. Okay, have a tendency to kind of make that little dome. Whoop, that's gonna go here on the side, all right? Take your little top if you like, put it on there, make a nice little top hat for it over here. Let's do the second one. And you break into this, it gets nice and bubbly. Kind of oozy, you get all the like the deliciousness on here. You cannot go wrong. Okay? Looks like another beautiful potato. Let's place that right there. Let's get ready to go to the vegan one. Okay? So all we're gonna do, same thing, nothing's really changed whatsoever. Really the only thing we had in there was the cheese, right? Cheese and sour cream is not vegan. So I'm gonna start now. Why not just replace it with different substitutes? So right here. I don't want them to look a little different. I just brought a few different things to see. They have block white cheddar. You can shred some white cheddar. In my case here, I'm gonna use this pre-shredded, pre-shredded, they call this Colby Jack Shreds, okay? These are made out of soy, lecithin, uh, dairy-free, excuse me, these are dairy-free, soy-free, gluten-free. It's made with uh, coconut oil. They have some vitamins in here, all different types of, I mean, just kind of reading the backside of here. You know, the, the vegan market is so big out there right now, there's so many different things that you can and cannot use. So I, what I try to do is, I've tasted these, so I wanna just kinda of show you some different options we could use to substitute the sour cream, right? This is cream cheese, and this one here is just plain, this is kind of a famous one, Kite Hill, okay? I'm gonna, I've tasted this, not too shabby, it's kinda of like a cashew flavor, or it's made from cashews. And this one here has a little bit of chives in it, so let's kinda of bring that in also, okay? And then I found this really kind of delicious spread. There's a lot of these on the market right now. A nut spread here. This is urban chives. I'm going to add a little bit of this. Just give it a little bit of creaminess. Okay? So now my vegan dish. Let's not forget our salt and pepper. Salt, pepper. The key I'm trying to do is make sure that this looks just like the other twice-baked potatoes, the traditional twice-baked potatoes. Okay, boom. 
So now I'm going to stuff my potato, same way. Okay, boom. I'm right, just going to bring it down to the sides, top on it. Vegan twice baked potato. Okay, I'm going to taste this. I still want to taste it. Tastes delicious. Tastes just like the other one, really. The idea now is you can cook vegan and traditional the same way. These go in the oven. They're going to bake for about 35 minutes at 350, and we'll bring them out to serve them with the dinner. Boom. Okay, come on back, and we're going to hit up next. We're going to do two variations of collard greens.